It's often claimed that understanding a place's art means understanding the place itself. The same is true with Bhil art. To view it is to enter the world of the creators. In this video, we will explore the beautiful and fascinating world of Bhil art. We will look into the history, mythology, art forms and various other interesting facts. So let's start. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Swadesh. Here we create beautiful and informative videos on Indian art and culture. If you find value, please like, share and subscribe. Also press the bell icon to get regular updates. Also you can purchase beautiful artifacts from www.swadesh.com. The link is in the description. Bheel is an ethnic group in Western India. They are the speakers of the Bheel language, a group of Indo-Aryan languages from the Western India. As of 2013, in India, the Bheels were the largest Adivasi or tribal group. They are commonly found in Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Maharashtra and Rajasthan. All in the western Deccan regions and central India as well as in Tripura in far eastern India. According to some academics, the name Bheel is derived from the Dravidian word Billa or Bill, meaning bow. Originally, the Bheels were hunters and expert archers who thrived in dense jungles of Madhya Pradesh, later taken agriculture as their main profession. Some even moved to the large cities, taking up masonry, road making and other manual labor. Some Bheels claim Eklavya, the archer from the Mahabharata, as their ancestor. While other academics even suggest that Ratnakar, later named as Valmiki, who authored Ramayana, was a Bheel. According to Mahabharata, on 325 BC, Bheels were the rulers of Malwa and central India. Bheels has the history of rebellion against the Mughals and the Britishers. Originally, the Bheel people used to decorate the clay wall of the heart with their beautiful paintings. This is known as Mitti Chitra. Bheel paintings typically feature big, non-lifelike figures of regular characters that they encounter, colored in with earthy yet vibrant pigments. Then coated with a layer of regular dots in a variety of designs and colors that contrast remarkably with the background. The dots on a Bheel painting are not random. They are patterns that the painters can use to depict anything that they want. The dots, which have several layers of symbolism, are what make Bheel art distinctive. Each cluster of dots frequently denotes a specific ancestor or deity and was inspired by the maize kernels, their main crop and food. The dot patterns can be counted as the artist's signature style. Bheel art is instinctive and primal, the result of a long-standing bond with nature. It has traveled down generations, with most artists learning it from their mothers. The Bheel painting emphasizes elemental worship and seasonal change in order to have a successful harvest. Bheel art is frequently ritualistic as well as each painting tells a story. Tribal groups like the Bheels don't record their scripture, teachings or life facts in writing. They are rather passed on through Balar, spoken word and through art from one generation to the next. Every year there is a new plaster with clay done on the houses and fresh paintings are drawn. Natural dyes are used for paintings. Turmeric, flour, vegetables, leaves and oil are used to obtain the brilliant colors to make fascinating frescoes on floors and walls. Neem twigs are used as brushes for the painting. Animals, insects, deities, festivals and even the sun and moon are frequent characters in the bhil paintings. Legends and lore are told through Bheel paintings. Births and dates are documented. Religious occasions recalled. Even during festivals, these drawings are presented to gods and goddesses as gifts. 
the most common theme of bhil painting is the pithora horse which is an offering to the goddesses in the local language the artists are referred to as lekhindra in modern times various modern elements like buses airplanes cars can be seen depicted in the bhil paintings some famous bhil artists are Buribai, Padma Sri, and recipient of the Madhya Pradesh Government Shikhar Samman. Lado Bai, painter at the Adivasi Lok Kala Academy. The animal kingdom and the rituals and festivals of Bhil are the principal motifs. Sher Singh, he paints stories of ceremonies and festivals. Jor Singh, aquatic life is the main motif employed by him. Gangubai the key motifs of Gangubai include ceremonies the unadorned simplicity of bhil art is what makes it so appealing there is a divine quality to the dots that fill in the imperfect forms and tell us a story about life as it develops beautiful close to earth and colorful bhil paintings connect one with the soil of our beautiful country Hope you find the video useful and informative. Comment and let us know if we missed something. Please like and share this video and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you.